Hello, my name is Rojin Kamal Mohammed Amin. I am an architect and academic with an interdisciplinary uh, background and research interest in the confluence of architecture, cultural heritage, and digital technology. I founded and direct the Digital Cultural Heritage or DCH Research Center based at Suleimani Polytechnic University in the city of Suleimani in the Kurdistan region of Iraq. Since summer 2020, I have had the pleasure and honor of joining the Nahrain Network as a co-director. Since then, I have been leading the SPU office of the Nahrain Network along a very dedicated and hardworking team. Before joining uh, the Nahrain Network as a co-director, I have co-directed uh, the Cultural Heritage Network project along uh, Dr. Saad Bashir Askander, Professor Dr. Alan Faridun Ali, uh, here at Suleimani Polytechnic University, and also uh, professors Roger Matthews and Ruth Young from Universities of Reading and Leicester in UK. And of course, with the support of hardworking and a wonderful team member from past and current DCH members. Our uh, Cultural Heritage Network, or CHN project, was the recipient of the Nahrain Networkers' first large grant. We perceive that as a great honor as well as responsibility. CHN aimed at establishing a cultural heritage network that engages, informs, and trains local cultural heritage stakeholders from different fields, sectors, and locations. Uh, as part of CHN, we also systematically investigated cultural heritage uh, challenges and opportunities in the Kurdistan region of Iraq. Our CHN also involved uh, youth capacity building and training uh, in cultural heritage research and profession for sustainable development, utilization and promotion of local cultural heritage. We faced many uh, logistical and finance related challenges throughout the project since uh, receiving an international fund by a public university in Iraq can get complicated. Yet, with the supportive leadership at SPU and our strong belief in the project and its objective, we turn many of these challenges into opportunities. The Nahrain Network has greatly empowered and supported us to connect to and serve our community far more beyond what we envisioned when I wrote the grant application. In only 12 months, as part of CHN, we undertook a total of 24 training workshops and seminars, six networking and community engagement events, and initiated five research areas and two projects uh, with the involvement of uh, local stakeholders. Our events engaged and informed over 4,600 stakeholders and community members across the Kurdistan region of Iraq. Additionally, we earned and continue to earn the trust support and partnership of our community, stakeholders, and local and international collaborators. And now we turn CHN into an NGO due to its wide impact and the gap it fills. We are hoping and working hard to continue to expand our network, reach and impact across Kurdistan region and the rest of Iraq. We are striving to become a hub for connecting our communities and others to this country's rich and diverse cultural heritage. Nobody's Listening is another project that our DCH and SPU office of the Nahrain Network is involved with. Nobody's Listening exhibition is a virtual reality-based experience that combines art, technology, and advocacy to commemorate and memorialize the Yazidi genocide by ISIS to promote justice and recognition for the Yazidi cause and, and inspire positive action. The project was initiated by Ryan D'Souza, a human rights advocate, and developed as a collaboration between Yazda and Sarad Vision in the UK. In 2020, our DCH Center and SPU office of the Nahrain Network received the honor of leading a large-scale assessment of the exhibition and its impacts. With the support of Yazda, IOM, USAID, and the UNESCO Chair on Genocide Prevention Studies in the Islamic world based at the University of Baghdad, we planned and assessed the Nobody's Listening exhibition with a total of 127 local participants across five cities in Iraq, namely 
Baghdad, Soleimani, Erbil, Duhok, and Kirkuk. We also received the support and consultation of two emotive project partners, Dr. Akrivi Katifori from Athena Research and Innovation Center in Greece and Professor Maria Economo from the University of Glasgow in UK. Our assessment revealed two major findings. First, uh, we note that participation in the uh, Nobody's Listening Virtual Reality Exhibition contributes to increased no awareness uh, and emotional engagement and empathy toward the Yazidi community and their genocide experience. Second, and more importantly, we found that participation in the exhibition demonstrate potential to inspire positive changes and actions in response to the Yazidi genocide cause and support for the Yazidi community. Together with our partners, we have been publicizing these and more findings from this study in a series of panels in Soleimani, Baghdad, Erbil, and soon Duhok. You can find more details about the study in this publicly available report on the IOM website. Our DCH Center and SPU office of the Nahrain Network has done other projects and activities that you can follow on our social media channels and websites. The Nahrain Network and its AHRC GCRF funder and generous donor take credit for all what we have achieved and will achieve for the service of cultural heritage sector in the Kurdistan region and the rest of Iraq. And for that, I would like to express my deepest thankfulness and appreciation for the Nahrain Network leadership, staff, and funders. I would also like to thank our Suleimani Polytechnic University leadership and staff and wonderful team at DCH and everyone else who had and continue to support us at DCH. Thank you.